foot where we've lost our arch in the midfoot. So that's why this is her navicular bone. And that's why she has this callus because there's not supposed to be a bone here. So the bone is supposed to be up here and it's now down here, which is giving her a weight bearing area she's not supposed to have. And we may show you her other foot here. It's not as severe, but you can see it. So we've got um, a blade handle with the number 15 blades today. This is a scalpel. You can use all different sizes. This is my, my choice. This is what I like. So we're going to trim it. Now sometimes when you trim calluses, I don't know if you all can see the black dots in her callus. That is blood. It's not fresh blood. It's old blood. But it's from so much pressure. And this, some people will tell you, or even some doctors may say, before you come in, soak your feet. It makes it easier. No, not for me. I just say, come as you are. I want to see what your foot looks like in real life. Good. Okay, we are trimming a callus. We've done part of it here. So you don't want to trim, I mean, it just depends. You gotta, we also use a Dremel afterwards. So see how we've got a little bit of an edge here? We're gonna smooth that out with the Dremel. Calluses help with pain. Sometimes they cause pain, but sometimes they help with pain. So I'm down to normal skin. I don't want to make her bleed because then that does cause pain. So my goal here is to get her to a comfortable place and then we smooth her down. I wanna show you this other callus. So when she walks because of her flat foot, her toe turns and then when her toe hits the ground and it's turned, she's getting almost a pinch callus here but it's a distal clavus which she also has one here. And actually, believe it or not, this one's much better. No calluses here or there. So. When she's here, we check everything because she's had so many calluses. <laughs> so when you're trimming calluses, um, you try to pay attention to the patient's pain. Um, some patients are very sensitive. I'm very lucky right now, she is not. She lets me do what I need to do. But always pay attention and, you know, if your doctor's trimming a callus and it's hurting, just let them know, because they can slow down. They can take a, a smaller bite, which helps. And then, of course, going to a doctor who is really good at this. I would say I'm good. I don't, I don't know about really good. I, when I was a student, we had a teacher he could trim a callus. You would never even know it was there. He was so good. So again, here, the ridge, I'm not too concerned because I know that one of my assistants will come in and help me buff that down with a Dremel. Um, and there's a little bit up here. So this is how we trim a callus here at Lexington Podiatry.